everyone, I'm Alex, otherwise known as I Come At Thee, and I'm gonna be involved in loads of videos here on Pretty Up Front, so make sure you're subscribed. So today, I'm in need of a bit of a makeover, and I've come to see celebrity makeup artist Lisa Potter Dixon, who's gonna help transform my daytime look into a party-ready glam makeup. Yes, and we're gonna do it super quick as well, because we've all been there, haven't we? You get that phone call at like 5 p.m. from the girls saying, we're going out tonight. And, and there's just no time No to do time, anything. no time. You're usually in the, in the work loo or on the move, so we're gonna do something that's very, very quick and easy, and you're gonna be using the products that are in your makeup bag. Amazing. Okay. So where do we start? Well, we are going to start with moisturizer. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right, on not top foundation. Of yes, on top of makeup. The moisturizer I'm gonna to use today is Nukes Rev de Miel. So by taking a touch of moisturizer, you just need it a little bit, and you just rub it in your hands like this, and then you're gonna pat it over the face. And this is going to add a freshness and a new dewiness to the skin without taking your makeup off. So it doesn't move it around? No. Nope. So you're literally patting it in. Don't rub it in, otherwise it will take the makeup off. So I'm going to leave that for a few seconds and I'm going to work on the eyes. This is Benefit's Bad Girl Liner in the Waterproof Black. Now what you can do, there's two things. You can either put it all over the eyelid and blend it to create a smoky eye, but actually I'm gonna do something which I think is really cool at the moment. And I'm gonna just do a liner along the lash line and then smudge it out. So quite 90s. Quite grungy. Quite I grungy. Like the sound of that. Yeah, it's cool. Just close your eyes for me. So don't need to be neat either. So if you are on the train or on the tube, do not panic. You don't need to create that perfect straight line. And then we just blend it to give you that really cool smudged out look. So that's your liner done, but what about your lashes? Because have you ever tried to put mascara over mascara it just after? It's very crispy like, and yeah. not good. It just it doesn't work, does it? No. So I've got a top tip for you here. Are you ready for this? Coconut oil. Do you love okay. it? I do. Okay. I'm a fan. It, I mean, you can use it anywhere, can't you? Use exactly, it on your yeah. face. There isn't anywhere you can't really. Put exactly. It. Anyway, but I'm going to tell you how to use it for your lashes because all you need to do is pat a small amount along the lash line like this. It's going to freshen up your lashes straight away and just make them look dewy and as if you just put the mascara on. I'd never have thought to do that. Well, that's what I'm here for, you see? Go. That's what I'm here for. I'm going to get you to do it yourself. Okay. So put your finger in the coconut oil, just rub it between two fingers, that's it. And then just pat it along the lashes. See it that? Does make a difference. And they look blacker straight away as yeah, well, don't they? Like I've just put a fresh coat of mascara exactly. on. Exactly. The eyes are done, so now we're going to move back to the base. And now we're going to put a pop of blusher just on the apples of the cheek just to perk up the skin because blusher makes such a huge difference. And the blusher that I'm using is the Too Faced Blush Love in Baby Love. So smile. <laughs> apples of the cheeks. So nothing says party like a little bit of shimmer. So we're now going to add some highlight to the skin as well. So I'm going to use a creamy highlighter. This one's by Benefit and it's called What's Up. And I love that the tools are in there for you. So you've got the product and then on the end you've got the sponge to blend it. So it's all in one. I'm going to apply this on the high points of the face. So just down the centre of the nose, under the brow bones, on the cheekbones and later on on the cupid's bow. So highlighting has always been such a big trend. I know you've been at Fashion Week back yes. there. So did you see this a lot backstage? Oh my goodness. Yeah, we've got highlighting, we've got chroming now. Chroming. <laughs> we've got strobing. Oh, there's all sorts is going there on. Really <laughs> there is. But it's such a quick fix as well. So you'll see me with one of these in my hands at all time during Fashion Week. So we've freshened up the look, we've added a bit of a smoky eye, but now it's gonna be all about the lips. Well, I'm gonna use a dark berry shade lipstick. I believe that you also have this one. I'm a big fan of this one, but I would never attempt it if I didn't have enough time to sit uh -huh. there and work at it and make sure it was perfect. Yes, so this is the Marc Jacobs lipstick in blow, and you know, like you say, it's a favorite of yours because the color is beautiful, but we're gonna apply it more like a stain, which is really, really cool. So all we're gonna do, you can use your fingers or you can use a brush. I'm gonna use a brush, and I'm just gonna pat it into the lips. So literally, pat, 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 like this. What you're doing is you're giving yourself that drama of having a bold lip, but because it doesn't have to be perfect, because you are just applying it like a stain, it means it's gonna firstly last longer, so you don't have to worry about that, and how quick was it? It was so quick. So quick. And we're gonna finish it off by going back to that What's Up highlighter, popping a tiny bit on the Cupid's bow to give you the perfect pout. Now, I'm not gonna lie, 
You look a bit like J-Lo. I'll take that. <laughs> You're <Thanks>. excited? <laughs> yes. It's the new you. <laughs> oh, I love the lip. This it's looks good. completely different to when I've used it on my own. Oh, good. But I really like the stained look. And the eyes are really smouldering. I love that smudgy, grungy look that we've done. So thank you so much, Lisa, for teaching me all those tricks. And I will be back again soon, so make sure you're subscribed. And check out our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook as well for loads of little extras. And I will see you all soon. Bye.